they'll play the Yankees on Tuesday. If Tampa Bay wins, they have to have a winner-take-all game tomorrow. But I just love the fact that these guys can't score, and they're playing basically two games in one today. They're going to be exhausted by the time they get to New York. Either team. Hmm? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rag to eat some Corbin. I am a Yankee fan. Also known as a trash person. And you can follow us on Instagram, it's Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for making our juicy button. Hey, speaking of Twitter, I actually tweeted something. Oh, wow. I tweeted that billboard in the middle of Sunset Boulevard in the heart of Hollywood. Major League Baseball advertised the postseason with Aaron Judge's face and swing. Well, he's kind of doing... In Dodger land. He's kind of doing well, a little he's, something this year. Yeah, a little bit. But I love that they did that. So I tweeted that. And then this uh, Twitter account called Talking Yanks that has like 150,000 followers retweeted my tweet and said, Care of Rick Siegel in L.A. Look at the guy, the face of Major League Baseball, Aaron Judge. Oh, wow, you're famous now. Yeah, I'm famous in Yankee land. Uh, today, uh, we got an old trailer and an old Shah Rukh Khan trailer at that. Well, wait a minute. But he's only 50-something. How could he be that? Uh, in this one I've known about, I just realized that we had never actually reacted to the trailer. It's Raw One. Do you, are you familiar with it? The Raw One. It's a guy... He's in the Old West, and he's been riding for too many years without pants on. And so he is just... No, it's actually the nickname I gave your mom. The raw one. Nice. Uh, but yeah, have, have you heard of it? I have heard that, yes. Okay. R-A-1. Um, I know nothing about it, but I have I heard of that. I think the song... Jamma Jalo! It's actually it's from, from this? this film. Look at how frothy I am. Oh, wow, gross. Uh, came out in 2010. I believe it was a like a high action style of film, right? High action film, and I just realized that uh, somebody said you've never actually reacted to the trailer for Raw One. How like, dare we? Oh, How dare we? It's one sir. that fell under the rug that I've known about. Uh, it fell under the rawness of your mother. And so, if it's the next Sheryl Khan movie we should watch, please let us know. Here we go. Hold on, let's see. Did oh they, my God, nobody cares. Did they screw the pooch? Literally, nobody cares. That's still there. Okay, here we go. You know, Eros is the Greek word for erotic love. Nice. Very, tr- very trony. For 2010, that was that was those were effects really especially, good visual especially effects. Especially the the uh, action, yeah, uh, was was really and it was some That's stuff. 2010, that, that was 2010. Uh, Dang, so that means they made it probably in 28, two, yeah, 2008. 2008. Uh, That's really good visual effects. And I believe it did it say it was Red Chilies? So, yeah, it was that, Red Chilies. That makes sense. It does. Also, I'd imagine at that time though, Red Chilies was quite young. Unless how yeah. long has Red Chilies been around? Either way, remember. it's regardless for 2008 to 10 in that era. That's incredible. That was that could have been today. 
Yeah, absolutely. And there was a few things that you could be like, oh yeah, obviously that was uh, like the the style of a lot of the action. Mm. It's funny how yeah. the style of action changes. Like Matrix the, obviously had a huge uh, influence on action films for the next well, ten years. One after. thing that doesn't change is the superhero pose. One knee down. And, yeah, everybody's got to do the superhero pose. Um, but by the way, we've seen what two, three Karina Kapoor films. Um. Shiv, it's article. Really, the the director of Article Fifteen, Mulk and Thopt, is the director of this film. Well, directors do tend to direct more than one film. Yeah, but those are all like I similar, know. like I know, hard hitting totally, films. Exactly, very very different. And this one, uh, Karina Kapoor, Atul Sharma, Priyanka. Hey. Uh, oh, I bet it's just a cameo. I bet it's a uh, one of those. Uh, Sanjay Dutt. Hey! Rajini Kanth. Superstar Rajini Kanth. Uh, when a titular antagonist of an action game takes the Love physical Love that word, form, titular. titular. Uh, the physical form is the only game less powerful protagonist who can mm. save the creator. Okay, so it's like a game guy becomes real life. Ready Player One. Ready Player One. Um, which was a really good movie. Uh, Ready Player One's a very good movie. Apparently it's like complete like the book is completely different different <laughs> yeah but what's the, the, the all the cultural references especially if you were me like if we were a kid in the 80s that mm -hmm. there's so many references i enjoyed thing. that film i thought it was a lot of fun. yeah I th across the board like michael loved that movie yeah i think it was a it was a lot of fun uh, except for the book readers i guess of it they weren't not that it wasn't a faithful adaptation it was just like a completely different right film. just a totally different film <laughs> um that they just called ready player one loosely uh, based on a loose it looked pretty cool honestly that, that did look very cool um also does he speak at all or is he just like a does he need to or is he just like a because um arnold schwarzenegger he didn't speak a ton especially in the first uh, thankfully yeah <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> proof that anyone can be a movie star kids granted he is proportionately was at one time in the Guinness Book of World Records for his physique, and he's the most successful bodybuilder of all time. I get it, but um, the iconic... Like, when he first started acting, everybody, and I mean everybody, was thinking, what? <laughs> <laughs> he can't even speak English that well. What are they thinking? And he's one of the biggest movie stars of all time now. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like he's he's not talking. But all SRK needs to do is dress in a tux and hang upside down for a while. Yeah, but I mean, if I like, I don't know how this one is. You guys can tell if this if this one was. He should be the new James Bond. It wouldn't be terrible, honestly. Uh, you guys could tell us obviously how this film actually turned out. If it if it turned out to be really good uh, or not, uh, the action looks like it'd be pretty dang cool. Um, and I'm, it imp I'm so impressed with the VFX. It gives me. Why does it feel like anytime it's Red Chilies, it's always really, really good? And then, like, if anybody else is doing it, it's like hit or miss. I I think it's the bar <laughs> that SRK has set, and he's, it, it's also the the wallet that SRK yeah, has. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that has a, a a lot to do with it. Yeah, but like the VFX look like Hollywood VFX, and for 2010, even and that that last shot, that's that small detail of everything. Those little cubes coming mm -hmm. up was, looked well, like freaking small little cubes going up. It it looked <laughs> like something you'd see Tony Stark doing. Or is Red Chili's doing all of his laundry? No, no. Um, his two action uh, Jawan oh, and then Bathan. I can't imagine they're not. I I mean, why wouldn't Bathan. he do that? I'd imagine Pathan, which is going to be a big action, would be Red Chili's. I don't I don't see why it wouldn't be. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Of course. Um, I mean, I would. If I, anything I was doing, if it was a production company, I, I would more than likely want to have. But sometimes you just sign on. True. And obviously, very, very true. He doesn't run Red Chilies. He nope. obviously, but he has. He, it's just say he, it is his production exactly. But he's not like the. Yeah, I'm sure he has a, a actual president of whoever is right. actually in charge of what they do. He's not going to be in charge of day to day stuff. No, Red Chilies. I don't think so. <laughs> See him at the front desk. Yeah, red chilies. <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, hold, hold on, let me see if he's in. Click. Um, when was his last um bout of diarrhea? I we don't know. He keeps that pretty private. Uh, 
Well, I guess his last action would have been Brahmastra. 100%. Yeah, and, of and course. It, and he looked really cool yeah, in there. Yeah. Um, but I was like, uh, Zero was an action, I don't believe. Ray's was a little bit of action. So Dawn 2 was action. It definitely was. But imagine how much, I, even though for the time, obviously, in, and it was much better than the first in terms of action, uh, how much better the VFX would be now for, for a Dawn, which is yeah. why people are probably clamoring for him to do, do a, a Dawn, Dawn 3. three. But I, I, him oh. and Farhan, I think, uh, pushed it. And That's said fine. It's not happening right now. At least the, the at now. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I I I want to see a Don three so bad. Uh, it just has all of the potential of being so much fun. I mean, talk about letting loose with that now as a franchise. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know how this film is, which will be an Akshar Khan film. Um, next, I'd imagine we're getting a Pathan in November. I, I can't I, imagine like a, it's, a Diwali. So it's when's Diwali? December. 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 No, I'd imagine we get in November. Um, because that would be November, December, January. Two months. Now, we're currently... Because it's the 25th, I think, of January that drops. So you're three months out at the end of this month. Right. I don't know. Yeah. I'd imagine in the next... That's when you have to kind of release it in advance. At least a teaser. At least a teaser. Give it a little tease. It would be time. I agree. Especially with how the box office is going for a lot of uh, yeah, uh, Bollywood films right now. Yeah, I'm really happy. A lot of social media talk about Lal Singh Chada now that it's on Netflix. And a lot of people saying, who are the people who said this movie wasn't any good? Yep. Because this thing is freaking magnificent and they are. you're absolutely Which right. just shows that it's all the people that were given the negative didn't actually watch the they film. They either didn't see the film or... One of the people I heard talking about it said they just don't understand cinema. And I agree. Yep. Totally. It's a great movie. Watch it. Go to Netflix. Watch Lo Sing Chata. Um, anyways. Yeah, let us know about this film, which will be our next Shah Rukh Khan film. Down below.